the wife of a British man in jail in Dubai says she's worried he'll die without ever being released. 65-year-old Ryan Cornelius was sentenced to 10 years for fraud over a property deal. But after serving his time, he was then given another 20-year sentence. His wife Heather feels the British government should be doing more to help. Speaking to our reporter, Victoria Hollins, she says they've lost everything. We were a happy family and... Um an active family. Life has changed beyond recognition for Heather Cornelius and her family. They were living a comfortable life in the Middle East. Now she relies on the generosity of others for somewhere to live in London. The youngest of their three children was just seven when his father was imprisoned. He's now 17. We have lost absolutely everything in our um, lives. You know, we, we have nothing now. I worry about how we're going to get food on the table, how we're going to keep going, keep, you know, living a normal family life. Her husband, Ryan Cornelius, a previously successful businessman, has been in jail in Dubai since 2008. He'd borrowed $500 million from Dubai Islamic Bank, investing a large sum in a massive stables and polo project called the Plantation. But the bank said he misused the loan. He was told to repay it and found guilty of fraud. He was jailed for 10 years. Ryan served the time, but was then jailed for another 20 years. Unbelievable. And it is like a... It's a life sentence. He's 65. It's it just... It is not right. It's not humanly right to do that to anybody. The bank used a new law introduced after he went to prison, Law 37, to get the jail term extended. It said Ryan Cornelius hadn't paid back the money he owed despite the bank reclaiming the $1 billion piece of land. That's concerned some. Law 37 is really problematic because you have people who have been thrown in prison. Usually their finances, their assets, all of their money has been taken at that point. And yet a private entity such as a bank can decide to continue the imprisonment of that person until they repay whatever is alleged to have been owed. This is the most recent letter. The Liberal Democrat peer, Tim Clement-Jones, has been helping the family with the case for four years. He says the British government could be doing more to help. He has been incredibly harshly treated and I believe the FCO should intervene as a matter of urgency. We asked them to support a plea of clemency. That was all that we were asking them to do and I feel that that is entirely reasonable and that's what they should have done. The Foreign and Commonwealth Office here says it has raised the case of Ryan Cornelius with the authorities in the UAE this year and it says it's seeking clarification on the terms of his detention. The FCO wouldn't comment on whether they support the family's request for a pardon. Heather Cornelius hasn't seen her husband for three years. She doesn't even have the airfare to visit him in jail in Dubai. But she still has hope they will be reunited. He has done enough time. He needs to come home. Heather Cornelius ending that report. Um, so, Victoria, what have the authorities in the UAE had to say? Well, the authorities there didn't want to comment on specific details relating to this case, but they did say the judiciary follows international protocols. They said investigations are conducted in a transparent and a proper manner. Um, they also say that Mr Cornelius was arrested and followed due process, and he was, of course, found guilty of committing fraud of over 500 million US dollars. Um, they say that any suggestion of clemency offers are, are exceptional, absolutely not the norm, and his rights to appeal are respected. However, uh, there are other cases which some would say highlight how strict the UAE is in financial matters and financial crime like this. Uh, fairly recently, Londoner Safi Qureshi was jailed for seven years for writing a cheque that bounced. Now, he has since been released. Now, Ryan Cornelius's family say he's been a model prisoner. He's lost everything. He's already served over 10 years in jail. Um, they say also, he's bankrupt. Um, and really, all they want is support for a plea of clemency. The way things have gone so far, it doesn't seem likely at the moment there is. Okay. Victoria, thank you. And uh, you'll keep us up to date with any developments. Thanks very much.